What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Super Bass Bros. As you can see, we are in my basement today. We are not on the water. That is because we are doing uh, the first ever Super Bass Bros unboxing video. Uh, I ordered a pile of stuff from Tackle Warehouse for their sale and I figured it would be a good way to do one of our first uh, more informative videos instead of just us on the water catching fish not really talking about what we're doing so what I ordered was a pile of Kitex uh, I'm gonna show you guys what colors I throw uh, I'll talk about what size that I normally throw um, and the reasons behind that to get started we are going to open up this box right here nice Big Tackle Warehouse box, gotta love it. I know every fisherman loves to get a box like this. Nice, bigger than my head, which means uh, that I spent a lot of money. Like every other fisherman in the world, we spend way too much money on fishing tackle, but I'm excited to get into this thing and show you guys what I ordered. So the one thing that I think we're gonna do different Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to do all the unboxings and open up boxes with something super weird and super awkward. And yeah, let's get into it. Probably be showing you guys half of swim baits after I'm done opening this box. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I think the best way to do this is just going to dump everything out. Uh, so the first thing in this big pile of stuff, mainly why that box was so big, ordered some new waterproof pointos these are my go-to utility tray for any bait that could get rusted uh they're completely waterproof three latch system plano actually just came out with new edge series of these um i haven't tried them yet but i do love these the the latches don't pop off like a lot of other brands like i said completely waterproof and the dividers are perfect these are the 3700 series uh the dividers are perfect for tube hooks, uh, swim bait heads. Like I said, I put anything in these jigs, chatter baits, anything that could get rusted that I want to keep water away, um, keep water off the bait and not have rusted hooks. Okay, so I think the best way to do the lures right now is I'm going to quickly organize everything off camera and then go back and show you guys exactly what is in this order. So the first baits I'm going to talk about is going to be is going to be everything that I've ordered besides the Kitex. So if you're just interested in seeing the Kitex and the colors that I use, you can skip ahead in the video. Uh, I'm gonna go through the miscellaneous stuff that I've ordered first and kind of talk about that and break that down and why I ordered it and then get into the main part of this video which is going through the Kitex and explaining what colors I buy and why I won't buy any other colors. So in this order, I ordered some uh, Ned rig baits mainly because i wanted to try these uh they they look phenomenal they from what i've heard they straight up catch fish so i didn't even mess around i ordered the missile baits ned bombs the Nestle, missile baits ned bombs in a couple of different colors uh just because they're finesse they i mean they're they look amazing so why not um and pretty much anything that looks halfway decent and you put it on Ned Rig, you know it's gonna work. Uh, the main reason that I ordered these though was because of the colors that they had and how awesome, focus, and how awesome these colors look. They just look phenomenal, I love them. That is the Gobi color called Gobi Bite and it is one of the best looking goby colors that I have seen. I got them in Candy Bomb, Green Pumpkin, 
because, uh, you know, it could be any color as long as it's green pumpkin. Black and blue flake for dirty water. And, and Bammer Craw, which if you guys watch our videos, you know, Blue Craw and Bammer Craw, best colors out there by far. So you knew I had to buy these in Bammer Craw to try them out. So I got a couple packs of those. Can't wait to get them on Net hit, Nethead. Try them out. Maybe do a little bit more of a review on them later. Uh, I also bought some more TRD Craws. Um, I've already have a pile of these. These are fantastic baits for throwing on the back of Ike's mini jigs, uh, little finesse jigs, any little finesse jigs. These things go great as a trailer. Absolutely look phenomenal. Or you can just put them straight up on a net head if you don't want to put them on a jig. Uh, I got them in can uh, Canada Craw, Canada Craw, and Green Pumpkin. Uh, the next thing I got was I picked up two chatter baits. Yes, only two because these things are crazy expensive. I got a Jackhammer by Z-Man. Uh, I'm sure you guys heard of these already. They are hitting the market and they're hitting the market hard, but they are crazy expensive, like I said. So I got it in one of their more famous colors. Be Height Delight, haven't got a chance of throwing these yet. Um, I haven't thrown the Thunder Cricket yet either, which is another famous chatterbait hitting the market. Also crazy expensive, but so I picked up one of each. Um, in the very next video that I'm filming after this, we are doing a giveaway. Yes, the first ever Super Bass Bros giveaway. And I picked up a couple more of these. Um, I kind of wanted to throw them first before I full sent and spent $15 on a pile of chatterbaits a piece. So um, I'm going to let you guys know how these work. I'm actually thinking about doing a video of the Jackhammer versus the Thunder Cricket versus the original Z-Man and if they're worth the money or not. I guess we'll find out. Then I ordered some just replacement tungsten bullet weights by Swagger Tungsten. If you guys are looking for cheap tungsten, guys, <clears throat> check Swagger out. It's pretty much my go-to. They don't chip easy. Um, they're dirt cheap, and they work phenomenal. A couple other miscellaneous things I bought. Um, these were recommended by a friend, Ryan. These are lure knockers. Uh, pretty much, they go on. You just clip them onto your line and set them down the line and jig them, and they'll punch your... Um, your bait free. Uh, I have a big pole that I can use up to 20 feet, but these things are good if I get stuck in deeper than 20 feet of water. Uh, I was never really a big believer in these until I watched Ryan get his lipless unstuck in more than 20 feet of water multiple times using one of these. Literally, for how cheap these are, they paid for themselves in the amount of times he saved his $6 lipless. So I picked up a pack of three of those. Uh, I also got fin clips, which you guys know, big smallmouth guys, so got to have fin clips in the boat for tournaments. Make sure those fish are alive and healthy. I got two packs of those, and I also got fizzing needles. Um, don't know what happened to my last one, so I replaced my fizzing needles with this order too. So let's get into the part of the video that you guys have probably been waiting for because you know everybody loves these baits. Everybody wants to know more about these baits. But the problem with is there are they are also like the chatter baits, crazy expensive. Uh, it comes out to be like a dollar a swim bait, maybe even more. So the question everybody should be asking themselves is what colors do I buy? in order to save money so that I'm not buying all these crazy colors and have tons of swim baits in this color, tons of swim baits, and then you run out of this color. So I kind of narrowed it down to a process for myself. Um, I keep one, not the waterproof pointos, but I keep the 3700 non-waterproof pointo. I have one box, of, um, I use one box and I fill them with these things in a couple of different colors but every color that I buy has a purpose. I don't, unless I see some crazy color that I think will work that I'll like a lot, uh, I don't really uh, stray away from buying these colors. These are the colors I buy. I replace them after I use them, and that's it. And the reason why is because I'm a believer that if these colors don't work, then they're not hitting the bait. It's not, they're not going to, they're not, a fish isn't going to look at a swim bait and go, oh, that one doesn't have purple flake in it, but that one does, so I'm going to hit that one a lot more than I hit this one, 
it doesn't work like that. Mainly, one thing you guys need to understand about the fishing industry is a lot of companies will probably hate me for saying this, but all the different colors, like you look at a bait and it has 98 colors, 100% a scam. They are trying to make money uh, by naming their lures crazy things and coming out with all these different colors. When in reality, all you really need is green pumpkin, black and blue, uh, watermelon, red flake, just pretty much the essentials, guys. Uh, chartreuse is a good one to have, but you don't need uh, yellow bellied, orange sparkle, green pumpkin, purple flake, goby bite. It doesn't, like, it just doesn't work that way. The fish, you have to understand a bass is a predator, so they're, unless you're fishing a very, very highly pressured lake, they are not going to look at a bait and say, well, I would hit it if it had green in it, or I would hit it if it had orange in it. It doesn't work like that. They're a predator. If they're going to eat it, they're going to eat it. The main thing that you need to focus on is weather conditions and water clarity. Dirty water, darker baits, clearer water, more realistic natural colors, and overcast days, you want darker baits, sunny days, calm days, you want more natural colors, shad colors, things like that. So let's get into the colors I buy in the Kitex and the reason why. Um, all these baits you're going to see are 2.8 Kitex fats. That's what I love to throw. Uh, I'm a northern boy. I throw the Kitex 2.8s on a small jig head. And uh, we just don't have big bait fish up here. So there's no reason for me to buy huge swim baits. Because if they're going to hit a giant swim bait, they're going to hit this. So uh, I do have a couple 3.3s that I throw uh, that I didn't get in this order. But it's very seldom do I bump up unless I'm looking for a real big bite or I'm just trying to search for a big fish. So I buy these in the 2.8 and then I buy the Easy Shiners in the 3 inch for my drop shot baits. Usually the 2.8s, I will drop shot with these, but I usually just throw these on ball heads and I use the Easy Shiners to drop shot with. <laughs> but uh, I do switch them off. I never really throw an Easy Shiner on a ball head. These are usually just for drop shotting though. Now to talk about colors. Uh, the colors that I have here, um, I do have one color that I didn't buy that was in stock that I'll talk about, but um, I get Chartreuse Shad. I buy these for really dirty water on the back of uh, chatter baits. I'll put these on um, pretty much if it is less than six inches of visibility. That is what these are used for, the chartreuse, back of chatter baits, uh, ball heads. Pretty much the only time that I throw these is if it's really, really, really muddy water so that the fish can pick them up easier. Uh, same thing with these baits. These are um, black and blue, deep blue. These, um, I will throw these in two situations. In dirty water, that is, uh, it's dirty, but it's not so dirty that I need to throw chartreuse. I will throw black and blue. Uh, smallmouth also love black and blue for some reason, even in a little bit clearer water. So I do throw these quite a bit. And I will also throw these at night. One reason that I buy these is to fish them at night. Uh, because for night fishing, you want a darker color. You can't go wrong with your black and blues. Or um, I might substitute uh, black and red if I'm not throwing black and blue. Then I have, I buy the perch color. Uh, main reason I throw these is if I'm fishing a fishery that is loaded with perch, I will throw the perch swim bait colors, um, especially right after the spawn, right after the perch get done spawning. Um, if I know the lake has a lot of perch in it, then I will go with a perch color. Another one here is you got to have it for smallmouth. Goby color, throw these Thousand Islands, uh, Great Lakes, any big waters that have gobies. Can't go wrong throwing the goby, it's what they love. <clears throat> if you're fishing any of those places and you're not throwing a goby color, you're screwing up because I don't know if you'll find a fish in one of those bodies of water that if you put this in front of the face, they won't eat it. Uh, next color I have to show you guys is Smallmouth, Smallmouth Magic. Uh, smallmouth magic. Um, I like this because it has the blue fleck in it. So I'll throw this a lot on the river, uh, bays, anywhere that has blue crab. I like throwing um, the smallmouth magic color just to kind of match that blue that the blue crabs have in it. Uh, and then of course, as we talked about before, green pumpkin. 
always have green pumpkin. I use these on the back of finesse Kitech jigs, chatter baits. Uh, you can't go wrong with having uh, a Kitech as a trailer for those. Then I have bluegill flash. Uh, I buy these mainly for the spawn. Um, it's not a bad idea to have these for the spawning season because the bluegill will eat the bass's eggs and they get very uh, territorial against bluegill. So having a bluegill color swim bait is a great idea for the spawn. Uh, the last three I have pro blue, red pearl. Uh, that's kind of just a shad color. Uh, anywhere that has a lot of shad, I like the pro, the pro blue, red pearl. Any lake that I know has a lot of shad in it. Um, I'll throw these and I'll mix those up with the AOY. These are my two go-to shad colors. Um, being from the north, especially in Pennsylvania, we have a ton of lakes with AOYs in them. And between these two colors, um, any lake that has shad, uh, if shad's the main forage, you can't go wrong with AOY or Pro Blue. It'll match them the best without buying the exact color um, for that shad. Uh, Pro Blue Red Pearl is kind of nice because it's kind of just like a, like a light gray, dark gray. Just looks like a typical uh, minnow, any type of shad. And then finally, I buy the white, uh, the sight flash. I use these for bed fishing anytime. Um, real, real clear water where the fish is going to be able to see the bait from a mile away. I'll throw white. Um, like I said, mainly though for bed fishing, just so I could see the bait a little bit better and see when it disappears or really clear water. Like, um, if you get up on a thousand islands, these could work. If you're not throwing goby, I'll switch up between these or, uh, Oneida anywhere that the smallmouth can see it from a while away. Cause smallmouths use their sight a lot more than largemouth to eat and they'll come from a longer distance. So if you get clear water, white swim bait, it'll draw them in from quite a distance away. And then <clears throat> on the other spectrum in the Easy Shiners, pretty much what I do is I take my main colors from my 2.8s and I just replicate them into to the three inch Easy Shiners. Um, just buy the same exact colors, like I said, uh, Gobi, Smallmouth Magic, Green Pumpkin, Alewife, uh, Perch, Black, and Pro Blue Red Pearl. These pro blue red pearls, you can see it a little bit more. They're not as much of just like a dark and light gray. They actually have some blue and some pink in them. I really like that though. Um, Alewife is always my go-to shad color though. Alewife or the white, uh, just because it pretty much matches any shad type that you're gonna see. But uh, like I said earlier in the video, I do have one other color that I didn't order that I have over here that I'll show you guys quick. I do also like to throw Kitex in the morning dawn color uh, just because the pink, um, I just, it draws the smallmouth's curiosity. So anytime I'm fishing around smallmouth, seems like the bite's a little bit tough. I might throw the morning dawn color. Um, but that's it guys, those are the only colors I throw. Um, I know it still seems like a lot, but if you go on to Tackle Warehouse or Kitex websites, there's probably about 30 more colors. Yeah. So I broke it down into these. Like I said, I know it seems like a lot, but I feel like I can cover any situation that I come across with these different colors in Kitex. Um, dirty water, clear water, cloudy days, sunny days, uh, targeting goby, targeting shad, sight fishing, uh, bluegill. I, like I said, I think I've got it down to a science that if they don't hit one of these colors, then I don't deserve to be fishing. Those fish are 110% smarter than me and I'll just let them have the wind at that point. The only other thing that I'm gonna mention is my black and blues, uh, the black and blue swim baits that I showed you guys earlier. I will also buy those in black and black and red. Um, just for night fishing, I buy the blacks and blacks and reds completely for if I have a night tournament, um, the silhouette, it's easier for the fish to pick up but I put all of them together into the same category, black and blue, black and red and black. They all work in dirty water at night and the black and blue work for small mouths sometimes, especially on the back of black and blue jigs. So, uh, but besides that guys, thank you so much for watching our first unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I enjoyed unboxing all of this good stuff and showing it uh, to you guys. Uh, it adds a little bit more fun to it for me than just opening a box, looking at stuff and putting it away. 
Um, this way I get to film, talk a little bit, why I bought it, and it gives me more of a sense of comfort knowing that um, I bought the stuff for a reason instead of just blowing a pile of money. So, But either way, make sure you guys give this video a like if you liked it and you want to see more unboxing videos. Make sure that you subscribe. Uh, right after this video, I actually have another box right over there. I'm going to be filming another unboxing video uh, in which it's a little bit smaller than this one, but we have something special for you guys in terms of our first ever giveaway. Yes, that's right. We are doing our first ever giveaway. So you guys are going to want to be subscribed because you're going to have to be subscribed to be entered into the giveaway anyway. Um, but this way, if you're subscribed, you'll know exactly when that giveaway video comes out and you guys can enter it. Uh, I think all we're gonna do is you're just gonna have to be subscribed to the channel and share the post on Facebook or Instagram. But besides that guys, that's all I have for this episode of the Super Bass Bros and we will catch you guys next time. Damn it, turn off. <laughs>